Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here on Share Talk for Friday, the 11th of September. Starting off with 88 Energy, where we've already had quite a, uh, a lively session, a spike up towards uh, 0.45, and uh, coming back now uh, probably to fill the overnight gap down to 0.3. Uh, at least while we're above 0.3 on, on an end of day close basis, there's a chance of uh, a retracement and possibly even a journey up towards that April resistance line projection through 0.5 pence. Although I have to admit, uh, 88 Energy is not exactly the, uh, one of the best bullish contenders of the recent past. To cheer ourselves up next, uh, Alba Mineral Resources, um, where we had a uh, well, obviously the initial target there, 0.17, bounced off that line at 0.17, and they've uh, done rather well, well, at least okay since then. Uh, still, we've got the chance of uh, while the stock is above uh, that particular line from February, uh, above 0.7 up to 0.3 pence as a best case scenario over the next uh, perhaps couple of weeks. Uh, all things being equal, uh, stock where there's uh, very little charting uh, material to work with, but uh, still is uh, intriguing nonetheless. Uh, Core sell. I uh, thought I'd cover that again. I think uh, before, uh, but I think the last time I looked at it, uh, we were around current levels. I think we went higher, then became lower, but bounced off that resistance line there from uh, August around uh, one and a quarter pence. And while we're above that initial target, 1.6, best case scenario target over the next uh, few weeks up to the top of that rising trend channel from last month at two pence. Uh, so, but basically the, um, the bull argument in place while we're above. Uh, one and a quarter for Corsell. Uh, Cobra is uh, next. I think somebody was asking for it on uh, Twitter or wanted to uh, have a bit of a technical look. Uh, here we've got a break above the uh, 20, do, 20 day moving average at uh, two and a quarter. Uh, very good price action in terms of multiple days testing, intraday tests of the 50 day line at 2.03. Uh, it's already above the 50 day line. Looking for at least a retest of uh, 2.8, which is uh, last month's resistance and a best case scenario target over the next, uh, I suppose, six to eight weeks up to uh, 4.5 pence, which is the top of that rising trend channel from uh, earlier this year, back in uh, March, in fact. So uh, uh, looking well set up for Cobra, especially after the break of that particular line of resistance that I've just drawn. Uh, Carclo, uh, one of the more slow uh, contenders on the upside, but uh, has actually accelerated uh, over the last couple of sessions. We've hit uh, the initial, well, we've hit that uh, resistance line, top of the January uh, trend channel that I drew at uh, 22 pence. And uh, that's obviously the near term target. If we're going to get an end of day close above that, though, uh, up to the uh, top of the, uh, the wider channel there from uh, October last year, as high as 35 pence. So above uh, above uh, the 23 pence level, 22 and a half pence level, as high as 35 is an extra stage for the shares. Uh, at the moment, uh, we're in bull mode, I suppose. While we hold about uh, today's support area, so above 17 pence, really, uh, we're looking for the upside to continue. Uh, another situation which is uh, noteworthy at the moment is um, the following. Uh, Deltic, uh, here we've had a great breakout here, actually, uh, looking towards uh, that uh, 1.4 pence target there, which was uh, saved on the chart before. And uh, really, I suppose the, the next thing is trying to work out if there's going to be a higher target than that. But at least uh, this stage up to 1.4 for Deltic, and I will try and work out uh, maybe what the next destination would be. I suppose um, it would be towards uh, 1.8 area, but let's, uh, let's see how that goes over the next uh, few sessions. Um, Eve Sleep is next. Uh, I think I covered it during the week, but uh, can't get too much of a good thing. Nice to see the uh, uh, bounce uh, just off the 20-day uh, moving average today at 4.9 pence. And while we're above that, looking for at least a retest of the best levels of the year to date at uh, 7 pence. Big picture, picture target up to 14 while we hold above, uh, let's say, 4.9 at the moment. So let's see if we can uh, get right through that um, what was actually a lot, lot of loss support on the way down. Let's see if we can rise in the same uh, manner that we uh, fell over the next few weeks. Um, stock which uh, um, illustrates how um, in 2020 you have to give every company the benefit of the doubt in terms of recovery. And that's uh, Great Western Mining, uh, great looking basing uh, formation for the shares, breaking that 0.15 uh, resistance, which was uh, troublous, troublesome for so long. 
Uh, at the moment, looking for, I suppose, up to about, about the uh, 0 0.25, 0 0.27 pence area uh, while we hold above uh, 0.14, which is basically the triangle breakout that we've had. So above 0.14 up to 0.25 and the top of that uh, November price channel for uh, Great Western Mining. A stock which I was told not to look at and uh, still did anyway uh, is uh, Iconic Labs. I'm glad I did because obviously the shares have, uh, well, did manage to double at one point from uh, the 0 0.01 area to the 0 0.02 area. Uh, current situation is if we're lucky, I suppose, and uh, we hold above uh, that resistance line there, the broken resistance line from April at 0 0.17, we could still see further upside. Uh, best case scenario target at the moment up to 0 0.05. Although, obviously, we still need to retest that 0 0.025 August peak, which we haven't quite done uh, so far. Uh, I suppose at this stage, anybody back below uh, 0.15 would really uh, delay the uh, recovery scenario for Iconic. Uh, just a few to go now. Uh, first one is uh, 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 one that I did look at midweek and is doing quite well. Uh, iNexus Global, we had the big spike uh, at the beginning of the week and we've consolidated well. Uh, what would be nice is to see an end of day close above uh, 6.27, uh, the uh, it, the uh, mid well the early uh, resistance of this week. Uh, if we can get that, then the next uh, target there up to 8.38 at the 200 day line, best case scenario target uh, up to uh, 12 or 13 pence, which is that March resistance line projection, uh, and that's valid really while we hold above the five and a half pence area. So uh, big upside, but uh, really want to see five and a half pence hold on that situation. On to uh, Metal NRG, which uh, uh, has been making a decent uh, positive technical moves. Uh, here we've got, uh, just we're in the run-up to a, a, gold, uh, well, a cross between the 50 and 200 day moving averages. Uh, breakout would be an end of day close or end of week close hopefully today above uh, points, uh, 7 pence if we can get that then. Uh, at least a retest of the 1 pence area from February uh, could or should be on the cards. Uh, I suppose the, the, looking forward, uh, one would say that the uh, target of the next couple of months is up to 1.4 pence at the top of that rising trend channel from uh, uh, February on the daily chart. A uh, couple to go now. Vela was one of the stocks of the week earlier in the week, uh, so worth having a little retread of that. Uh, what will be interesting now is that we, could, we can close really, I suppose, above uh, point... Um, one pence, uh, which is that uh, broken resistance line that, uh, from March that we had, uh, which was the initial target here. Uh, if we can get a, a decent weekly close above 0.1, uh, then we would be looking for at least a, for a retest of uh, the best levels uh, of the month to date at 0.19. Uh, remember, we had that uh, uh, rather ambitious looking target at 0.17 uh, earlier in the week, which uh, was just about uh, exceeded. Uh, last stock of the day is Zoetic, which has been uh, a, a good news situation uh, earlier in the week. A uh, nice gap through the 20-day uh, moving average at 18.5 pence. And while we're above that, big picture target here over the next one to two months, as high as 40 pence, which is the top of a one-year trend channel. So uh, only really back below, I suppose, 15 pence, really killing the idea of recovery here. But uh, Looks as though it would be surprising now if we did actually fall below 18 and a half. So reasonable risk reward on Zoetic. That's it for me today. More updates on Monday. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.